What's up? How you doing? It's your boy Gigawaya. And this is my new horse. Her name is Tolula. <laughs> yeah. Well, new is not exactly an accurate word. I've been doing a lot of stuff since my last recording session. So yeah. Let me just board this horse, keep her safe and sound. Come on, baby. I know, you don't want to talk to the weird looking man. Hey! <laughs> Alright, border. Keep it safe for me. Ah. Nah, that's it. Okay. Alright, time to show you what I've been up to. Uh, ignore all that for a minute. I got a lot of stuff. Look at all that stuff. Mmm! Mmm, those chills are beautiful. Much better than what I've had. Oh yeah, I got this thing. I haven't used it too much, except when I was just trying to explore and stuff, but... Oh yeah, climbing gear. And then, uh, this. Doesn't this just look dead sexy? Also, rubber ties. That looks real good with it. But right now, I don't think I'll need that much because I'm just going to be following the quest for a little bit. And plus, I like the way this looks, and I got a lot of stuff. And I maxed out my cooking uh, inventory. And of course, you notice in the top left, I got a lot more hearts. I got a second stamina wheel. I've been busy. Oh yeah, an upgraded weapon. Bow and shield slots and stuff like that. So yeah. I've had quite a time while I was away. But anyways, it's time to get on with the adventure. Oh yeah. I've went through and got as many towers as I could. I think I just have three more left I can't get to. That one, that one, and this one. I got close to this one, but I couldn't get in it. I'm gonna try that later. Maybe not during this session, but eventually. Yeah. I think... Uh, I think, uh... I don't remember. One of these is because I think the cold... Yeah, I couldn't. I think this is the cold one. I don't remember why I couldn't get to this one, but anyways. Oh. And there. I went there off camera, but then I was thinking, oh crap, I don't want to do the quest without recording. But yeah. I'll just go ahead and fast travel. I mean, since I have the need, I have the. I have the means to do so, may as well. Look at all that stuff I got. I'm rolling in money right now. Oh yeah, I found a great fairy's fountain. That's upgraded a cup, few of my armor. But yeah, I've been a busy boy. But now it's time to get serious. I wonder if I'm over gear for this. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let me just sail into town. First, pick up a little bit of apples. Oh, yeah, and you can shoot apples out of trees. And I realized, and then when you pick the apple up, you can get the arrow with it. Whoops. Yeah, I got plenty of a lot of stuff. Okay. Where do I go? Oh, yeah, I think it was in here. Yeah. We have the secret tribe of long been heralded as the people of great wisdom. Our technology became the key to sealing Ganon away during the great calamity some 10,000 years ago. At one point our technology was praised as the power of the gods, but eventually the people turned on us. We turned on it. Turned on us. Our creations came to be viewed as a threat to the kingdom. The Sheikah became outcasts forced into exile. Some, like us, chose to cast off our technological advances and strove to live normal lives. Others fostered a hatred toward the kingdom that shunned them. 
These sad souls swore their allegiance to Ganon. They now call themselves the Yiga clan. The sole mission is to eliminate all those who oppose who stand against Ganon. Please, dear hero, be careful out there. Alright. Give me some food for the journey. Even though I got plenty, I'm greedy. What you oh. got? Lola Opal has been waiting for you on a long time. On a long time? <laughs> a long piece of time. That's a lot of seasoning. If you can just sit on that. There is much I would like to tell you as well, but first, please hurry and see what Lady Impa has to say. Alright. Running upstairs, running upstairs. Look, there's a door. And who's this? Huh? A man? Huh? Is it? It's a Shiga Slate. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? Lin? Lin? Oh, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is P... P... Pai. Oh, my name is Pai. Phew, I got it out. She's cute. You're cute. And I should be able to say that easily, seeing how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. You know, I, grandma, my grandmother's been waiting for you. I've well, been awaiting you ever since I was little. Please, hurry inside. Oh, you want me inside? Right away? I could do that. <laughs> Alright, let's go. What's up? It's your boy Gala here to save the kingdom. So, you're finally awake. Oh. Damn you all! It has been quite a long time, Link. <laughs> I am much older now. I say. You remember me, don't you? Can't say I have. Can't, I don't. I don't remember you at all. But then I think you may have been mistaken. I ain't Link. I'm Gully. Huh? What? Yeah, you a stranger. We can talk about. I don't know anyone here. You are looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack a light of familiarity. It is I, Courageous One Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. No. Oh. I see. So you have lost your memory. Or I'm just from a different world. <laughs> well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. A hundred years ago. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she was to say to you. I've been waiting a hundred years to listen. To deliver the princess's message. Please pick up your underwear off the castle floor. It's really an eyesore. Oh. However, these words which the princess risked her life to leave you, but well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. They have accumulated such a foul stench within this past century. I am afraid that burden may be too much for you to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, please return to me. Alright, ready. The words that the princess risked her life to impart to you, I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks convention. conviction. I almost thought she was going to call me a convict. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? Yep. <laughs> Not a memory of to your name that you are... As intent as ever to charge forward with the only courage and justice at your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Yeah. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. <gasps> Story time! The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. 
This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. This legend, which implies it may or may not be real. <laughs> Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. Wait, didn't I hear this before? The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. I swear I told you this before. The plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. And then foiled. <laughs> Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions. Brrrr, can't keep my brother down. <laughs> the guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the divine beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. hundred years ago. Oh yeah, the master sword. I have like, I'm already found that. I just can't pull it out yet. I'm like two hearts short of getting it. And the thing, they're close yet. I've barely done anything quest wise. <laughs> In preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. Oh. But in the end, Despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid making that great mistake again, the princess left you these words. Oh. Free the four divine beasts, that is what she said. Alright, it's hard to imagine beast as divine, because beast implies wild, untamed, and, you know, unruly, primitive, and divine is like higher up beings of otherworldly knowledge and power. Before the line we saw the ancient Chica weapons wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. The line bees were Rodania, controlled by Dark of the Gorons. The line bees were Meadow, controlled by the Rivali of the Rito. The Rivali. <laughs> yeah, he refers to yeah, the verse himself in third person. I am the Rivali. The Rivali he likes to speak to himself as he's a wrestling superstar. You can't beat the Rivali. Rito, those are birds. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Zoya and Rito in this game. Ha! Huh. I bet that pisses some people off. The divine beast from Roots are controlled by Mipha of the Zora. Let's see, was it, was it Ruto or Ruto? That was, uh, 
The prin oh yeah, Princess Ruto. Yeah, that was it from Ocarina of Time. The one of these are not always controlled by a boss, so take care of them. You'd be extremely ill advised to face Ganon without the power of the Divine Beast to help you. You must infiltrate the Divine Beast that were stolen away by stolen <laughs> stolen away by Ganon a hundred years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these Divine Beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. Yeah, I can do that. The Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go to where it tells you and meet with each leader there. Free the Divine Beast. <laughs> it seems to me that your Sheikah Slate is not yet complete. Oh, I'm getting there. The device Princess Zelda left you as your guide and also your memory. My memory? What? I mean, sure, technology has memory in it, but it's not mine. Now, let's see. Someone at the research lab in Hateno Village may be able to help you. Okay. Alright. The location shining on the eastern edge is Haten Hateno Village. It is a small village, one of the very few places that avoided suffering significant damage during the Great Calamity. Locked in mementos. You are Princess Zelda's only hope, and Hyrule's as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny! Oh, I was about to say, I saw, I saw her out. I found her. What do you give me this for? It's, it's complete. I am done here. No, well, not really. I'm gonna keep going. <gasps> oh! 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 That Chica alone has been guarded by our tribe for generations. I must request that you not touch it. Even for an esteemed guest such as yourself, there are certain rules that must be respected. I'm gonna touch it. What? <laughs> oh, come on. I want I want I want Touch it! What's up, girl? You want some? <laughs> What's that ball? Uh, Go get the ball, girl. You'll get a biscuit. <laughs> this this priceless artifact here? Yeah, go get the ball. Is that what you want to know about? That is a Shiga heirloom that we have long protected. The hero as chosen by the Shiga heirloom will be gifted the blessing of antiquity. You'll make me old! With these words as our guide, we have watched over the sacred artifacts since my grandmother's grandmother's time. And even since her grandmother's grandmother's time before that. Wow. There's a lot of grandmas. I cannot say I know I entirely know the meaning of these words, but now that I think about it, the hero was chosen by the Sheikah heirloom. Could it be? Is it my phone tablet thing that carry all my help? Hmm. Please don't hesitate to let me know of any let me know if I could be ever be of service. Oh, we can go upstairs and you can be of great service to me. <laughs> mm. She could have long served the royal family of Hyrule in secret. During the great calamity of a hundred years ago, the royal family was destroyed and the members of our tribe scattered. Sadly, there were some who swore allegiance to Ganon at that time. They joined together as the Yiga clans, seeking out all who opposed Ganon, cutting them down one after another. Master Link, now that you are awake, you are surely the most formidable opponent standing against them. No doubt they will come for you, employing whatever underhanded methods they can devise. Mm. Of course, if there's anything I can do to help you, all you have to do is ask. Oh. The Great Fairy Kotera. Oh, I hear my voice. <clears throat> Only a few remain who know this, but this village was built under her watchful eye. The mysterious power of Kotera is that of sacred protection. I suggest you seek her out. The Great Fairy resides behind the shrine that overlooks this village. That is where you should seek her. Sweet! You can put your trust in the Great Fairy. I can't think of any reason she would be happy to help you, Master Link. Yeah, I know the Great Fairy Terra in the desert in the southwest would love to help me. Please don't he hesitate to let me know if I can ever be a service. So, what's your story, Mick? Girl, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> You... I... Me? You wanna know my story? Well... My name is Paya. 
The reason I was named Pia is because I have a birthmark shaped by, like a papaya seed. Really? Where is it? Well, it's, it's kind of... Yeah. Um, Master Link, I've heard you to change the subject. No, but you're going to tell, you're going to show me where that is, girl. I'll do you someday, just, just not today. You don't know, you're going to answer, you're going to show me. We're going to get into me. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to do some stuff. You know, like right up in there. <laughs> All right, I'm good. What's up here, anyways? Let me up. Okay. Oh. It's a diary. I wonder if I should read it. Oh, she only started, okay. Grandmother says she conspired with Princess Zelda and Auntie Pura 100 years ago. They decided to put a lone swordsman into a long sleep so as to prepare for a time that was foretold in legend. The name of the swordsman is Link. Since then, Grandmother has been waiting for him to reappear after all this time. I too pray that he awakens soon for the sake of Hyrule and for Grandmother's sake as well. And for me, because my loins ache for his long throbbing sword. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I went there. Uh, I don't know, I've been going there apparently. Anyways, it's time to move on. Um, What is my next step? Let me get out of this place. Get out! Get him away! What's up, world? This is Guy, and I'm here to wreck things! Ah, oh, Rebel Party! No rules! What's up? Who is there? There's a great fairy fountain somewhere in this village. I hear it's utterly breathtaking. The settings aside, they also say it can bestow people with mysterious powers. It's too bad, I can't just figure out the exact location. But I'm not gonna give up. Oh, and if I know anything, I'll be sure to let you know. Oh, I think I know. Oh, still right behind the shrine. Oh, this? That? Oh, wait. Up there, I think. Yeah, I wanna go up there. I'm gonna climb this house, cause ain't nobody stopping me. Oh, no, the house must stop me. Yeah, I'm just gonna sleep here. <laughs> All right, but all this stamina ain't nothing I can't climb. As long as I just recover in between spots. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's go. Up, 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 up. And uh, I think it's, is it over there? Well, let's see if I can climb up this one. I should be able to. Yeah, I can get up all kinds of places. Oh yeah, <laughs> cheat the system. Oh, oh, is that a sign of no? That's a blue knight's chair. <gasps> Give me that. Give me that. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. no! I'll get that in a minute. Ah, uh, okay. Where is the f shrine? I mean, the fairy fountain. Maybe it was just behind the waterfall? Or where? What's the shrine in the village? Oh, wait, that shrine. That might be it. Oh! Mushroom, mushroom. Gonna get some mushrooms. What's in this chest? Frantic bow. That's a weird bow name. Oh. What was it? Power of 18? Yeah, I dropped this crap. That's a, that's a peasant bow. Nice. Let's see. We'll pass down to Chica Tribe. Target distant enemies as easily as those nearby. Cool. Oh yeah, this one's, I think, yeah, this one says the strike distant targets engineered for it, so it might have better or less arc in their shots. I don't know, but I'll test that out whenever I feel the need to. And where's that shrine? Shrine's up there, okay. If I can't find the fairy thing up there, 
I'll probably just end the video and then just start the next episode. Get okay. So, oh. what is that? No, no. Where you going? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, wait. Did he vanish, or is he just hiding in the grass? Or he went this way? I don't see him. Huh. Oh well. Oh! I'm gonna get me some fairies, yo! Yeah! Sneaking in your fountain! Kidnapping your fairies! Got that one. <laughs> Keeping in your waters, snatching up your berries. And some blue nutshade. It's sounding kind of squishy. The squishy, squishy, squashy. Sneaky, sneaky. Endure carrots. Any more fairies? I'm not seeing any more. Oh, silent princess. I met some people in the woods who were looking for this. Apparently it's a life long ago. I found a plenty of them. I got a... I think... I, yeah, I just left one there. They said they wanted to pluck a live one, but... Sentimental me just wanted to leave one there to remind them of their goal. To never forget. And plus... I'm just trying to pretend it helps them find it since they know... Have a lot... Have a... Sample of what to look for. Anyway, I think that was all the fairies. I mean... Oh, I got five. I could die five times and not really die. Make sense of that. That doesn't sound like a woman. Uh. Boy, sweet boy. Please, listen to my story. I don't know if I'm going to do a voice for this. I can't think of a big woman voice that sounds... Eh. It doesn't sound it, I mean. <laughs> Great Fairy Kotera. This place was once a beautiful spring. But as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now. So I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. Oh, she a gold digger. <gasps> Five hundred. Okay. God, a big hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, take the money. Oh gosh, he's really grabby. Uh, is she gonna be grabby with me? Hmm, I don't know. If she looks anything like a sister, and I hope not. Please be prettier than the sister. No, they look the same! Ah, oh, man. Quadruplets and your wall just equally up. I don't know. You're not that ugly. Actually, yes, you, you're pretty in a way. I had to think about it. You're just a little too bit big for me. What a feeling. The first breath of fresh air after an eternity of decay is just so intoxicating. Thanks to you, I've been returned to my former glory. And as they say, one good turn deserves another. I can help you, boy. Allow me to enhance your clothing. It's the least I can do, but I will need the necessary materials. Oh, uh, yes! Ah. Yes! Hands away! Oh, I don't have high toe lizard. Oh, I sold them because I didn't mean the um. Oh, I can enhance these mm. Yeah ah. 
So I have to go to the old enhancer again. Or oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Set bonuses, huh? Only if you wear the whole set. Uh, the whole sets have bonuses. Yeah, it's enhanced. And this time I won't skip the thing. Oh wow, I can easily upgrade that. I got a lot of vocabulary mm. stuff. Yeah, and this time I won't be I won't be an idiot and skip the scene. Dun da 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 Was there anything else? Oh, I can answer this further. Ah. Uh, okay, yeah. I'm assuming if it was the if it was the nest this needed stuff on the left, I wouldn't be able to do this. Yeah, left is what I have. Oh yeah. This reminds me, the Lionel horn. I've been practicing my defense with like parrying and flurry rushes. I suck at flurry rush, but parrying is easy with a lot certain moves. I've been pairing against a Lionel, I found, and I can reliably parry all but two moves, his charge and his little whirlwind attack. Well, and the fireball, but there's no point in parrying that. But yeah, I, I, I'm confident I can take one down and get the upgrade material for that. Mm. Ah. Alright, you saw the scene, let's move on. Yeah! So I'm assuming I don't have to actually go to the other one to upgrade it. As long as you get them all freed, you can just go to whoever and get them upgraded. But yeah! Nice! Probably thinking, golly, why don't you just wear the upgraded stuff? I don't want to yet. Because, I mean, with the path I'm going, it's not like I'm gonna need it yet. So uh, yeah. Up your nose with the rubber hose. Eh, yeah, whatever. Oh, I love the view of this place. There's a view of all kinds of places. There's amazing sights. And plus I had some pretty stupid ideas I wanna try and like standalone videos. <laughs> but yeah. One of these days I'm gonna try to sneak in there early. Cause I heard you can get a lot of good stuff in there. But anyways, catch you guys another day. See you in the next video and stuff like that. See ya.